to make sure like we've got everything sorted. Small little vulnerable thing, tiny little thing, but it's the most exciting day ever. This is like way more exciting than any birthday or Christmas. I feel like I've waited a lifetime to get to be in the position to get my own puppy. Like our house now as well is just like the perfect puppy house. We couldn't have picked a more ideal house and I've been banging on about it for ages. Getting a little puppy. You know, listening to loads of podcasts on the best way to train a puppy and a dog, and uh, so there's so much to know and so much to do. We went last Sunday and we actually went to look at this other litter. There were like some cream puppies, and then we saw Penelope. Oh my god, I haven't told you. So, Penelope, that's her name. We picked, p picked her name. Um, we were talking about like dog names a while ago. I haven't even heard, I, I, can't, I feel like I can't even speak right now. So she's a girl as well, by the way. When we first started thinking about getting a dog, we both sort of said, oh, we're gonna get um, a boy dog. But um, yeah, then we kind of like you know, started looking around. Well, I think this dog, we went to this viewing and um, she was on the floor and for some reason she just seemed like the one to get. And then well, no, she the came first to time it we explored walking around and then came by my feet and I swear it felt like she put her hands up for me to pick her up <laughs> and I was and then she looked like a Penelope. I think we mentioned yeah, Penelope before and then you, you, you weren't that keen and then yeah she just looked like she did look like a Penelope yeah. didn't she? It's quite a long name but I think it, I really like it. It's pretty cute and it's different. Like, I don't know I don't know anyone called Penelope never mind a dog called Penelope collector. We've got all her stuff ready. She's got a little crate we're gonna try crate train her and then we've got some stuff in the back. Look at this! Put a little seat back. So we're close now, 23 minutes away. Feels like we've been driving for a while now. Um, we're almost here, 19 miles away, 23 minutes. So exciting. Do you want to get me in? Little do you want to oh, no, get you in? <laughs> there you go. You oh. have your photos. <laughs> yeah, that that brand of stuff. Yes, for now, for now. But the thing is, with that, or oh, it's excellent one of the puppies. Get big, good, junky puppies. Holds a lot of protein. <laughs> okay. I feel like I cry. It's okay. We're gonna take you home now. Okay. I'm crafty. I'm just scared. I love you. He's a picked up a bit, aren't they? He picked up. Cry, mate. I love you. Like... She's pooed. She pooed all over me. Pooed all over my shoes and my leggings and on herself. We were wiping her all up and then after she's pooed, she's now snoozing away. Bless her, look how good she is. So she's just been sleeping, been such a good, good little girl. I'm nearly home, oh, we pop it. It's been a really long journey for her. Look at her, her little fox. So we're very nearly home now, oh my God. That was stressful, but I'm so pleased with her. She wasn't sick or anything. She's been really chilled. And just slept with, with her head on a little um, teddy bear like I showed you all earlier. I can't believe it's dark now. Like, we've literally we've been out all day. You've got poo on mommy's shoe. How are you? So, here is her little bag of stuff that we've got so far. We got these from Pets at Home, just some like 16 pack puppy training pack. Mason got some this surface cleaner spray. We've got a load of different treats that we're just gonna trial. We've got like a Tangle Teaser version of a dog brush. Some poo bags to buy the road balls. Some little dental sticks. A comb. We're gonna put all this in the car and then just um, see how we get on. I also picked up this little water thing just in case for the car, a handy little thing. Uh, and a cute little harness in the... And then we are going to crate trainer. We got this little grey crate um, and we put 
this little padding thing from the range for her to lay on. It's just like a little beige fluffy thing. I've also put a blanket over the top just to make it a bit more cozy. Um, I got her a little te like toy thing, a rope, another rope, and this little bear. I thought it might look like a little brother or sister. Penelope's first. I'm in our first little bit of food in a crate. Penelope, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? We're flying away, we've done our yet first wee wee over there. She didn't want a little treat. Now she's pottering about. Feel so proud. You're a good girl, aren't you? Exploring her little food bowl. I'm trying to work out if she can reach. Feel me. Look at you. First little poo. What a good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> I've just realised I feel like I haven't actually spoke that much on this vlog. So it's day two being a puppy mummy and oh my gosh, she's just like a little angel. She's, she's like a little bear. She's honestly been so good. Um, her first night, she had a little cry. We first like put her to bed and then we woke up a few times in the night, didn't we? Because you need the toilet. When they're this young, they have like such small and like weak bladder, so they can't really hold it. So lots of wee wee tricks, isn't it? It must be so scary as well, like being away from their mum. She's got some of her favourite toys already, and I think I really feel like her little personality's coming out, um, and she's getting a bit more used to a new home. Hmm? We washed. Um... Oh, don't start eating my hair. Oh, that stinky breath. She went for her first jabs as well and she was so good, wasn't you? did a little wee on the thing. And she's got her second jab in like two weeks time. And then soon you'll be able to go out. Um, we've been letting her in her garden. Honestly, already she's, she's sort of trained herself to go to the toilet. Like she hadn't even been outside before we got her. Um, and she's like putting a paw on like the back door and then just goes out, does a business, and then pottles back in. Yeah, she hasn't done any poos in the house, she's just done weeds. Hopefully, it'll stay like that. I don't think I've actually mentioned her breed. So, she is a chow chow. I've been looking at them for about six months now, and like, researching and stuff. Um, they're quite rare in the UK, like, they're not very common at all. Oh, she loves this, this is like her favorite thing. Yeah, I've read about them, but there's not much, like, good stuff about them online. But to me, I think, like, a dog's personality is just, they're like children, it's how you raise them to how they're gonna be. Hmm? To how they're gonna be. My dad came over as well to meet her and she absolutely loved him. She's really friendly with everyone, aren't you? You want to say hello to absolutely everyone. Beautiful girl. These teeth are so sharp. Look. Smooth, always open. We've moved this crate round because I think it was a bit, I don't know if it was too enclosed, so we're just trialing that round. These, that, these are like her favourite. She absolutely loves the little toys. <laughs> 